What's up guys? It's Markin. Yes, it is Medal of Honor Warfighter on your screen. I I know, I know what you're thinking, it's been a long time, and it's been a long time because I haven't played this game in forever. I found this on my hard drive just randomly. I didn't even know I had any Warfighter footage whatsoever. And I really did like this game. I really did, but there was just so much more they could have done with it, and there was so many little things wrong with it that made it suck. But this right here, this no recoil whatsoever, and that's what the comms about. That every game, every shooter, first person, third person, really every shooter that's out now has been dulled down, look at this shoddy pistol work by the way, has been dulled down so much where it's just incredibly easy to shoot your weapons. There is almost no recoil in any game nowadays. Now obviously you have your super hardcore games like Arma and like Operation Flashpoint, things like that where there is a lot of recoil and it's made specifically as a simulation. I understand that. But in terms of these mainstream shooters, Medal of Honor, Battlefield, Call of Duty. Now, Battlefield 3 had a pretty good amount of recoil in it. It was really the game that stood out that you had to control your recoil, especially at longer ranges. You had to burst fire. You could not just hold down the trigger, a la Call of Duty, and kill somebody. You had to control your recoil, you had to burst fire, you had to sometimes throw out single shots in order to hit somebody at a distance. And that is not the case in Battlefield 4. I've put some hours into BF4. You guys know I've put up some BF4 videos. I haven't played it a ton, but I've played I think like level 7. Um, <clears throat> so all of the weapons I've come across in that game have no recoil. There's like barely any recoil whatsoever, and I was extremely disappointed because in BF3, like I said, you had to counter that recoil. BF4, you still do. It's still there, but it is dulled down quite a bit, and I think that is coming from Call of Duty. It's coming from trying to make more money, coming from accessibility. When you play COD, you can go in, you can pick up a controller, you can immediately understand how the game works and the feel of it and the feel of the guns, which is not a bad thing. That's a good thing. A lot of people play it. A lot of people have fun. I play it. I have fun. But it's an easier game to play and it's a lot more accessible to newer people or to veterans. And I think that that's fine. However, other games that were never like that before. The Battlefield series, Bad Company, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 2, 2142, everything. Was always based on controlling your recoil, burst fire. And it's not so much the case. Even Medal of Honor 2010 had, you know, some of the weapons really didn't have any recoil, but there were still some that had a decent amount of recoil, and you had to fight that back. But now it just seems like Everyone's trying to get the newer players, which is understandable. I understand why it's happening. I just don't like it. I think it sucks because you no longer can separate the good players from the great players anymore. Sure, there's going to be some separation, but it's not going to be the, the immense. I mean, you can't separate the excellent from the super elite when pretty much all the weapons have no recoil. So, I mean, I just... I really liked how it was before, especially with, you know, Bad Company 2, BF3, where these games had a lot of recoil that you had to counter in order to stay competitive. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this whole recoil deal? Do you think it's getting easier to play these games? Do you think these games are made to be easier? Did you like when there was more recoil on the weapons? Do you like it now? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay active. Hit, hit, hit me